The Turkish underground city of Derinkuyu is located in the province of Nefshehir, about 40 kilometers from the city Gürem. With an area of 445 square kilometers, 18 floors and a depth of 85 meters, it is the largest underground city in the world. There are more than 200 underground cities in central Anatolia. Most of them are small, about three stories underground. They are also connected to Derinkuyu by tunnels, sometimes up to 9 kilometers long. All of the cities are equipped with emergency escape routes to the surface. The Cappadocia region lends itself well to such underground structures due to the lack of water in the soil and the presence of pumice, also called tuff, which can be easily excavated. It is possible that the Hittites excavated the first layers of rock around 1200 BC when they were attacked by the Phrygians. However, most of the city may have been built around the 8th century BC by Phrygians, who lived in central Anatolia and were skilled architects during the Iron Age. The first written evidence of the city comes from ancient Greece around 370 BC. The city was also used by Persians, Seljuks and Christians of the Byzantine era. The Cappadocian Greeks lived there until 1923, but present to Greece through population exchanges after the Turkish War of Independence. After that, the city fell into oblivion and was accidentally rediscovered in 1963, when a house on a private property was renovated. In 1985, the area was included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. Originally, Derinkuyu was probably used to store goods. However, due to the constantly changing lines of ruling Cappadocia over the centuries, the main purpose was to provide temporary protection from foreign invaders. The city is large enough to hold around 20,000 people, plus livestock and food. half tall round boulders block the passages between the 18 floors and could only be moved from the inside. Each floor has been carefully designed for specific purposes. The animals were kept in pens near the surface to reduce odors and toxic gases and to provide insulation during the cold winter month. The inner layers contained living quarters, meeting rooms and cellars. On the second floor was the traditional Byzantine missionary school. The widest part of Derinkuyu is the seventh floor. There is a meeting room, a cemetery and a church. The well that supplied clean water to the entire city was protected and not open on the surface to prevent possible poisoning by the robbers. Most impressive is the complex ventilation system, consisting of more than 50 ventilation shafts, which ensure natural air circulation between the many rooms and corridors. The only mystery is how they had used the toilet.